Sports bettors, what's going on? Jimmy here with Ghost Picks. ATS.com here with another free play for you guys. Coming off a crazy weird day, especially with the White Sox just losing to the Twins. Unfreaking believable pitching change there. Um, we're going to talk a little Major League Baseball stuff for you guys for the near future with listing pitchers. Great stuff for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're new to the page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, every day is a great day with Team Jimmy, right? We do giveaways. We have a lot of fun on this channel. Of course, I wish 100% of the days and 100% of the plays that I release always win. That is the nature of Ghost Picks. That is the reason why I started this YouTube channel and the reason why I only deal with people that are willing to wager a significant amount of money. If you ain't wagering thousands, I don't mess with you. Uh, and as you can see, that I, I, you know, I want to throw this out there. I know the team kind of looks younger. We're a younger generation of guys. We do daily content. We're really good on Instagram. We're really good on Twitter and, and all these other platforms. But at the end of the day, I don't mess with you unless you got some big money. Um, and you know, I, I just want to throw a shout out to all the Ghost Picks team members to start off the video. Benny has been one of the best rider dies out there. He's been with me since, you know, almost the start of Ghost Picks. Team Jack is kind of in a slump right now. He's been there with me since day freaking one. Um, shout out to Ghost Picks Jack too. You're talking about in a slump. This guy's been in a slump this month. And, uh, you know, unfortunately us sports bettors have that. Um, you know, I do this for a freaking living, man. I've been on this YouTube channel for four years. Um, going over into Ghost Picks, Justin, a guy who I found and appreciated in the NHL realm and community, not only is one of the most respected sports bettors, but is one of the most smartest human being when it comes to NHL. Period. Back it up and, you know, kind of caveat that with, uh, his counterpart is a ex almost professional golf player. So, uh, I, I love his team and what they bring to the table for Ghost Picks. And then Ghost Picks Rich. You're talking about a guy that throws down a lot of money. End of story. This guy is one of the most sharpest bettors I've ever met in my life. He's on a 12-3 and three free play run. Most of them I put on this YouTube channel right here. And that's it. Now let's get into to what we have going on for you guys for uh, Wednesday. It's Wild Wednesday. I have a seven-unit play. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I have one play for Wednesday. I'm not messing around in any other sport. Not doing anything else. I have a seven-unit play. And I am releasing it right now. It is Tuesday at 11.44, right? You guys know I'm always transparent. Holy smokes. 11.44, I am releasing it right now. Wild and VGK. Uh, VGK is on a power play. It was back-to-back -back goals that just happened. I'm watching that. Um, and uh, I have a seven-unit play, and I am releasing it tonight. It's the only player for tomorrow, and everybody will get it. Why? Well, because our red alert shit the bed. It was our first very bad day overall. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not liking the way Monday and Tuesday started. Uh, number one, we finished off a monster last week, 19 and six. Uh, we come in 29 to 14 uh, top tier plays of the day. We're on a 32 and 14 now Major League Baseball season after going one and one today. Um, and you know, we just had so much potential today. There was a, there was a ton of potential to have a great card. Uh, I want to hit the full recap and get you on a free play. Soccer started off with a dud. Um, we took the leads over, and that game was a, a dud, uh, an absolute dud. We're not, we're, you know, we weren't going to mess with the prim going into these final games. But once we knew fans were going to be in the stadiums and a lot of other things and put things into nature, we like some totals to go over. None of them went over, but the red card in the Man Manchester City game that did go over. Um, and then going over Major League Baseball, we split. We took a big play on the White Sox once the Twins changed up pitchers, uh, which we should have went in the first five with there. Um, but, you know, I, I, I was talking to Ghost Picks Rich tonight about this. And you see these lines and they look a little trappy. And you get in and, uh, you know, why are the White Sox pitching to the only person to put up and put up any kind of runs for the Twins? So, no, three home runs today. What are you doing pitching to them? Just walk them, right? The Twins are terrible on offense. They are the worst ROI team in Major League Baseball, right? BGK is up 2-1 now. Um, and, you know, it just blows my mind. It, it, you see these trappy lines trend out. Once it gets tied in the eighth, it's like, you know, if I was sitting at a book, right, I would wager minimum 5000 on the Twins to get the job done because you could see it, it happening. You could see the trap line unfolding, and it's kind of yucky to watch. But 
Um, anyways, those are some of the insight and things that I do, which is why I'm successful and make a ton of freaking money betting on sports, is when you see these kind of trappy lines and then it ties up towards the end of the game, you're like, okay, something's going on here, you know? Uh, and I know some of that don't make sense, but it's just a motto I live by and I'm very successful with doing it. Uh, and then going over into our other play, we took the Nationals and Cubs over eight and a half. It was a nice winner. Uh, and then we took Penguins money line as a top tier play. It was a nice winner. Uh, but the big play was Florida, Florida Panthers go over two and a half goals. And I'm here every day. I face the music. Ladies and gentlemen, I lost $4,000 on that play today. Uh, but as you guys know, I face music. I'm here day in, day out, whether I win or lose, right? Coming off a 19 and six week, we come out Monday and Tuesday at both losing days. That's what it is. And uh, I have to bring it to the table because, you know, just some down plays, man. You know, White Sox had no business losing that first three innings. They put up four runs and that's it. They looked absolutely terrible on offense. But um, I don't brag about my losses or talk about them or the wins. You know, it is what it is. The day is over with, boom. We go over to Wednesday, Wild Wednesday, one play, seven units, end of story, get on board. If you're on my red alert, you get it. Uh, if, you were, if you're on any other package, you're getting it. Everyone's getting this play. This is a massive freaking play. Uh, I'm not taking this play lightly. And my new motto for the red alerts for the NHL postseason is if I'm not wagering over $10,000, it's not a red alert. If I'm wagering under $10,000, you guys will get it as a seven unit play. And I'm going in and going out with the guns up, baby. Because, hey, we absolutely crushed the books last week. You know, doing this for a living, you see the the, the, the ups and downs and the, and the trends. It's like the market, you know, going into your bankroll. And we're up so high right now that, you know, sloppy Monday and Tuesday don't affect us. But we need, we need Wednesday. I'm going in heavy on this game. Seven unit play, period. End of story. That's what I have for you guys today. If you're on my YouTube premium or the YouTube super fans, I have a video coming out for you guys. There's gonna be lots of free content for Wednesday. End of story. We're talking soccer. We're talking Major League Baseball and we're talking NHL. Coming for you guys. It's five freaking dollars a month. Get in the comment section for more exclusive content. Click on that. And uh, last thing I'm gonna say is I, I apologize for that red alert. You know, Florida literally just came out bad, period. That is. There's no other way to put it. Florida stunk. Florida stunk. There's no excuses to make. They lost the game. They got embarrassed. Tampa Bay is going to sweep them. Um, all right, we're going to get to your free play and get on with it. We're taking Edmonton on the money line minus $1.49 against Winnipeg. They got the number one score. Uh, Connor McJesus and Dry Saddle are just too much for Winnipeg. The last two games, 9 2, Edmonton has taken it. They've won six in a row against Winnipeg. Winnipeg's only positive side that they have is their defensive side, right? They're big. They like to hit. If they don't call penalties, which they will in game one to set the tone, we will see Edmonton on, one, on the best power play in the NHL. Again, game ones, it is proven that these refs are blowing the whistle a lot. And that absolutely hurts Winnipeg. That is terrible for Winnipeg. The only way we don't we lose this game is if the refs do not blow the whistle and put Edmonton in that power play. All game ones, lots and lots of power plays. I love this game. $1.49 Edmonton Oilers on the money line to get the job done. That's gonna be your free play of the day. And ladies and gentlemen, um, Wednesday, we're we're gonna dominate the rest of the week, you know. Ebb and flows of sports betting sucks, right? It's always great. But if we end out like a 19 and six last week, we're all gonna be happy. We're gonna be good. I'll see you guys in Winter Circle for Wild Wednesday. There is one play and it is getting released tonight, midnight. Good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby.